in due time. Listen to what the Bible says about that. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that God may exalt you in due time. 1 Peter 5, verse 6. There is a difference between human time and God time. God is in no hurry compared to the works of humankind. God is extremely deliberate. God is not a slave to the human clock. If you sincerely desire to be a person of faith, one important part of that is to trust God's timing. Certainly, it's not easy to trust God's timing. We want it, and we want it now. It's tempting to take things into our own hands when we're not getting things quick enough to our own human mind. But we're human beings, and because of that, we are impatient for things to happen. But as human beings, sometimes we have to wait, and sometimes the waiting, I've found out, is the greatest blessing of all. When we're blocked or when things aren't working right away, immediately, sometimes it can be the greatest blessing of all. And I wish I had the time to share some of my stories with you, but they're big ones because I was delayed. Sometimes we have to remind ourselves this. God knows better. God has created a world that turns according to God's timetable, not ours. Thank goodness, we mortals might make a terrible mess of things. God's plan does not always unfold in the way that we would like or the time of our choosing, but our task as spiritual people is to trust in an all-loving God, an all-knowing God, and to wait patiently for God to reveal the truth. And reveal the truth, God will. But until God's perfect plan is made known to our human mind, we must walk in faith and never lose hope. God will work out things in due time, in God's time.